this is You Against You podcast, and I'm your host, Deja Nicole. So in today's episode, which is episode number 21 of season 2, yes, we are almost done with season 2. We have like three more episodes left, 22, 23, and 24. So season 2 is coming to an end very soon, but... But, 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 your girl is working on season three at the moment. So stay tuned to the last episode to know what exactly I'm going to talk about in season three. Even though there's an episode, my one year anniversary episode, I told y'all, but it will also, in the last episode of season two, it will have the release date. So stay tuned to that. But in today's episode, I feel like especially how the whole season two is about healing girl era and this is especially good to end off the episode with even though we have like three more but just to like close down season two is seasonal depression and the reason why i am talking about seasonal depression around the end of season two than the beginning because seasonal depression actually hits when it starts getting cold and for some places for some people it don't start getting cold until late november early december so like here it was like warm but like tomorrow it's gonna be cold so in today's episode i'm going to talk about how to deal with seasonal depression and to be honest i don't want to sugarcoat anything to you guys i don't want to lie to you guys because it wouldn't be authentic i would not be authentic but i deal with seasonal depression most of the time especially when it is dark because i like to have my windows open but you know sunset sets very early and it's only like 5 40 and there's already sunset so um it's not even six here in tennessee um clarksville to be exact but i deal with it and i do um therapy and i'm going to talk about how that can help you deal with it and actually boost your mood but let's just get into today's episode first of course we gotta do our weekly updates so today is thursday and i am feeling like to be honest like a mental health checkup i'm feeling okay my mood is kind of like very like in the middle of like a 5.5 to like a 6 just because this week has been very stressful with finals coming up then getting assignments done like this week is finals and because i take my classes online i have to get everything done by sunday which i will i will and today is just like a big like not a big day but it's a long day like i went out um and i'm vlogging so i'm vlogging like some parts of today just a random ass vlog so um for my youtube channel and i'm i had to stop my vlog for a bit to record for you guys for my podcast listeners and watchers but lately my mental health has been like in the middle of like a five to a six maybe a seven just because of finals and also studying for my permit test which I was supposed to take last month, then October, but I just kept rescheduling it, rescheduling it, that's the word, because I've been, like, so busy with school, and I'm taking next week, so I gotta study for that, and that's just very stressful, but with the help of God, I know he will guide me, and he will help me pass, and help me retain all this information that I have to study, but my mental health has been wonky but i feel like after this week and after wednesday of next week it will be better so yeah and wednesday of next week is when i take my permit test plus it is my 19 year anniversary since i had my cardiac arrest and died and came back to life so uh yeah but 
yeah now the next thing of course if y'all don't know we have a group chat on geneva so the link to that is always in the show notes so if you want to go add yourself go add yourself um of course you can follow the you against you podcast instagram and tiktok which they're both are you against you pod dot by Deja. go add yourself there and go follow and support your girl i'm trying to hit 700 followers on the instagram and 100 followers on the tiktok so go add yourself if you want to go follow and all of that now of course support your girl's business that will also be in the show notes as well especially for the cold season meaning dry lips so if you want to cure those dry lips this winter go support your girl and buy a lip gloss now i'm so excited um this is like a last minute thing guys and i told y'all about it last episode that i might be doing it and i decided to do it um it was like a last minute freaking thing it was never planned out but next week on the 16th that is a saturday i will be hosting a virtual zoom vision board party so if you want to go the rsvp link will be in the show notes i already have six people who are planning to go and i'm so happy because i never like expected someone to actually go at least i expected like maybe one or two people but not six so yeah and we will be watching gossip girls so bring your favorite snacks bring your favorite drinks wear your favorite pajamas and just bring something if you're gonna make your vision board on your ipad bring that if you're gonna make it on your laptop bring that if you're gonna actually cut out pictures and put on a poster board bring that but i'll be having a vision board party next week on saturday there is rsvp link will be in the description box down below it's a google form you just fill it out your name your first and last name and your email so it's just better to email you and let you know like hey this is when the event is happening so i'm just so happy that people actually want to go to this and i just i can't wait for it to happen and if it goes well even though like it's like six people but if it goes well i know for next year i want to host like three events um virtual events with my podcast with the podcast so yeah um maybe like a yoga class or i don't know yet but i'm, I'm thinking a lot of big things for myself for my business for my youtube channel and for the podcast for 2024 so just stay tuned to all the things that's going to happen now let's just get into hold on okay so let's just get into today's episode okay so what is seasonal depression and what are the signs plus the facts of seasonal depression because this whole episode is going to be very very informational so grab your pen grab your pencil grab your paper your notepad your ipad whatever you take notes with grab it because i'm going to drop a lot of information for someone who don't know if they're dealing with seasonal depression or you do know that you're dealing with it but you don't want to get professional help for it because a lot of people don't like getting professional help with a lot of stuff that deals with their mental health and to be honest there's nothing wrong with that but i do recommend to get it but let's just get into today's episode besties now what is seasonal depression okay so seasonal depression is depression that is triggered by the season change so when i was doing my research to get the exact facts and all the information that i need to do for today's episode i have 
have learned that some people actually get seasonal depression in the summer and spring as well but it's mostly happening in the later fall months early winter months but you can also get seasonal depression in the hot months which is weird because that's when you can go out a lot you can go like you know travel go to the pool to the beach and stuff but people get seasonal depression in the spring and summer and i just thought that was like very i very thought like that was very interesting like i really thought that was interesting but it is triggered by seasonal changes so like i said it usually happens around late fall months and all winter months now it's also known as the winter blues you probably heard this in cartoons when you was younger or probably read it in books or just heard it somewhere but it is known as winter blues because it's getting colder the time is changing the sun is setting early and we need the sunlight we need vitamin d we need that we also need warm weather because it just makes us feel very comfortable and free in a way like i know like with the warm weather i feel like i'm like someone is hugging me just because if you think of a hug it's like someone is wrapping their arms around you and it's hot it's warm but it is known as the winter blues and it's actually very normal and common it's actually common in women than males and i thought that was also interesting so like i said it is common and more seen in women than men but <coughs> sorry about that but my question is is it just the research that they have done and they mostly do it on women because you have to think about it women usually like to express the emotion their emotions and talk about it than men do so what if men actually express their emotions more would it actually be a higher number in men than women if men express their emotions like just think about that because you have to think about it men don't like to express their emotions so yeah but it is more common in women than men but a lot of things are more common in women than men but i just feel like a lot of research that says that are not really doing a thoroughly in-depth research on both genders but that's my opinion on that now the signs that you want to look for if you was wondering if your friend might be going into this or going through this not into but going through this or if you're going through this the signs are sadness feeling depressed most of the day or every day craving more carbs anxiety so like i said i have anxiety and it usually goes high around this time of the season so like that's just something i know i have um weight gain extremely fatigue but this one is very 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 common with people who also deal with depression but with seasonal depression someone can oversleep a lot so and that's also like a common sign with someone who just has depression in general if you didn't know that unless the person has like some medical thing that they're very fatigued because their iron is low like myself but yes they usually go to sleep a lot and they oversleep so meaning they can like be late for work 
be late for an event, be, le be late for work, like anything because they're over sleep. It's like hibernation in a way. When I was like seeing that like, oh, so a sign is oversleeping. That's also a regular sign of depression in general. But with seasonal depression, especially how it's known as the winter blues, you have to think about it. It's like hibernation if you oversleep because that's the sign of seasonal depression according to my research. And the reason why I kind of like put two to two together because hibernation, animals sleep all day long through the cold months so if you oversleeping you're basically hibernating for a long period of time so yeah <sighs> now those were all the signs the symptoms that you can probably ask yourself do i have this or does my friend have this or do my family members have this? If you was wondering if someone have or yourself have seasonal depression. Now, there's a way that you can actually, what's the word, cure it in a way. Because this is like a temporary thing because it only happened during the seasonal change. So, how can you boost your mood when you're going through seasonal depression? Like, how can you boost your mood? Now, light therapy is a thing that you can do. And the reason why this is like the first thing on my list is because you have to think about it. The sun is setting very early. Like here, it wasn't even 6 o'clock yet. And it's still not 6 o'clock. It's like 5 minutes till 6. And it's 5.55 while I'm like saying this. And the sun set like around 5.20 that's early okay that is like very early but in the summer the sun was set like around seven to eight so light therapy is something that you probably want to try and i have like my lights on in my room i wouldn't probably like pay a lot of money just for going somewhere just to get light therapy you can literally like turn on your lights in your room and have it like bright enough if you like have like a dimmer because like i have a dimmer for my lights so i have them like bright enough to the point that it won't really like affect my mood even though it's not real sunlight real sunshine light but it's light okay now another way you can boost your mood during this season of seasonal depression is spend time outdoors this is something that a lot of people do not want to do because it's getting colder but let me tell you bundle up put on a lot of layers and go outside your body will thank you your mental health will thank you and it will boost your mood just do it and you will actually forget that it's cold outside because you're kind of like switching your mind of saying like, if I go outside, I'm going out there to move my body. I'm going out there to get some fresh air. Then I'm going outside to walk in the damn cold, you know? So like, if you have to change your mindset before going outside and bundling up, do that because it can help. But going outside can help you boost your mood while you're going through seasonal depression another thing is taking vitamin d supplements you can literally get these off of amazon at walmart literally any store that sells like vitamins but taking vitamin d can help boost your mood because we need vitamin d for our body and sunlight is natural vitamin d but we're not getting that because it's mostly cloudy it's mostly cold and if it is sunny on a sunny day it's going to probably like one or two days that it's going to be sunny 
so we will barely get any sunlight for the rest of the week so go to your nearest Walgreens or CVS or Walmart or even ordering it off of Amazon and getting your vitamin D vitamins the next thing is going to therapy like I said a lot of people do not like going to someone they do not know and a lot of people do like going to somewhere not somewhere, but someone they do not know to talk about their problems. I am someone who do like to go to someone that I don't know to talk about my problems. Because one, I'm building a relationship with my therapist, for one. So I'm going to get to know her and she's going to get to know me. But two, it's better to talk to someone that you don't know, meaning a therapist, to talk about your problems because they won't really judge you than someone that you do know to talk about your problems and that's why I feel like a lot of people should be doing therapy it's good for you and it's good for your mental and emotional health as well because when you're talking about your problems you are letting out ooh, a lot of emotions and it's good to let out those emotions than bottling it up. I was supposed to do therapy this week, but I wouldn't. Sorry about that. But I was supposed to do therapy this week, but um, I went to campus and I had to like do some homework in the library. Just because I didn't feel like doing homework at home, so I would schedule it to next week on Thursday. But it's just better to talk to someone that you don't know and talk about your problems because they will not judge you. Yes, you will build a relationship with them, but it's more of a professional relationship with your therapist. I have been doing therapy since high school. I stopped for like four years after high school. But I'm so happy that I started it again. And I have told my therapist everything that I deal with, especially how it's getting colder. And sometimes I don't feel like doing anything. I feel depressed sometimes. And she was like, you have seasonal depression. That's what it sounds like. So, yeah, that's how I know I have seasonal depression. Another thing that you can do to boost your mood during your seasonal depression phase, because it is a phase, it's not forever, it's literally temporary until it feels like warm, hot, summer, spring day, um, is trying aromatherapy. So you can just get a candle or candles, and they literally have these type of candles like at Bath and Body Works, and... I used to have one and it smells so good but you can just try it and see how that makes you feel because it's mostly like if I don't want to like get something wrong and tell y'all like bad information so hold up Doo -doo 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 -doo. hold up So, aromatherapy is using essential oils from plants for healing. So, yeah, I was kind of right. So, essential oils like lavender, mint, um, there's like, those are like the two ones, peppermint, I, spearmint, all the mints that I can think of at the moment. But, like I said... I know Bath and Body Works have like essential oil aromatherapy candles that you can buy and they smell actually good and to be honest it will change your mood so if you know someone who is going through a seasonal depression right now make them like a self-care basket go to Bath and Body Works buy them like different aromatherapy as, um candles and i think they also have them like in lotion soaps and all of that stuff and buy that and make like a self-care package and give it to them 
is ask them after they light the candle how did it change their mood because it can really help their mental health <clears throat> another thing that can boost your mood and help you while you're going through this phase of seasonal depression is sticking with the schedule make a schedule for yourself and try to stick with it that is something I have tried and let me tell you it is hard sometimes just because I have to do like a hundred million things I feel like but sometimes I even have a habit tracker that helps me try to get my habits and check them off but like I said because I am moving like left to right and doing so many things I sometimes don't do those habits so making a schedule for yourself making a habit tracker for yourself will help you try to get back in track and when you are sticking with that schedule and you check off everything on that habit tracker it literally changes your mood because you accomplish something or you accomplish everything that you wanted to do that day so if you don't do that start doing that for yourself now and just see how it feels sticking to a schedule and being very disciplined and prior prioritizing your life and sticking with the habits that can make you a better person that can make you feel successful and all of that jazz the next thing that you can do is of course move your body like i said go outside go on a walk if you go on campus for classes you know you're going to be outside for a bit like five minutes maybe 10 depending on where your classes is but when you are outside walking to your classes don't rush take a nice stroll around campus and breathe in the fresh air look at the colors of the leaves changing and just falling on the ground read outside do homework outside just do whatever that can move your body and get you outdoors <sighs> i'm so sorry guys another thing that you can do is of course when the sun is shining so like around 5 50 something or 6 a.m open your windows and just watch the sunrise that is something i do i love to open my windows throughout the day and get that natural light and it helps me focus it helps me feel better and it helps me boost my mood as well so if you don't do that start doing that and you will see a big improvement within yourself of course journal is the next one but journaling you do not have to use a guided journal if you don't want to i have a whole episode on how to journal so i will put that in the show notes but journaling will be your best friend especially around this time you can journal your thoughts you can go on pinterest and find shadow work journal prompts i have done some of those journal prompts and it made me reflect on how i feel now as a person how i will feel tomorrow and just how i feel in the past through a lot of events but just journal you can do a brain dump on one page I don't care, just journal how you feel and it can help you boost your freaking mood besties, okay? Okay. Of course, for this time of the season, it's the season of giving, it's the season of chair, it's the season of snow, it's the season of Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus and elves and gingerbread houses and gingerbread men and women is watching Christmas movies and listening to Christmas music. I love listening to Christmas music. My favorite song on repeat is um, Deck the Halls, I think, by Pentatonix. I like listen to that since like elementary and I love it. But watching Christmas movies, there's like so many new Christmas movies out right now on Netflix. Go watch them and go listen to Christmas music. It will boost your mood. And also, decorate your room for Christmas, decorate your house for Christmas, and turn on the lights and you will see how your mood will change. So we're almost done with today's episode, besties. Now, the next thing that you can do to boost your mood, to better your mental health around this time, around this space, because like I said, 
Seasonal depression is only temporary. It only happens because of the weather changing. And it's a phase. It's a long phase, yes, but it's a phase. Even depression is a phase for a lot of people. And people don't realize that. But do some self-care. Do a facial mask, which I will be doing later tonight. Um, But do a facial mask. Do your nails, your toes. Do a nice hot bath or a hot shower. Make your favorite drink. Make your favorite meal. Do whatever that can boost your mood. Do whatever that can make you happy. That are that is self care related. Like I said, I like to color on this coloring book app that I have on my phone for self care, just because it boosts my mood. It actually changed how I feel midday. Even when I was like in the library yesterday doing homework, I was stressed out. I definitely not myself because of the cold weather and what makes me actually try to not get my seasonal depression in a big big like dump and low is I like to dress cute for myself because in the winter and fall meaning cute clothes as in boots and scarves and turtlenecks and all of that so i dress cute i kid you not and it helps me it helps boost my mood and it just helps me feel confident because sometimes during this seasonal change i do not feel confident i feel like i don't feel like i'm doing great things like today i was vlogging and i told myself I don't think this vlog is going to be good, okay? But I think it will after me editing it and whatnot. But I will put myself down. I will say negative things about myself. I will go through imposter syndrome more into this stage than before just because I'm not thinking straight because of the seasonal change and the time change the weather change, all of this and that, and I don't like it, but it happens. We all go through this. We all go through it. And this, it's common, like I said, a lot of people go through it. They just don't like really talking about it because people might think it's stupid that you can really be depressed when the season change, but it's true. Like, it's very true. And some people actually get suicidal thoughts through this phase. So, that is the sad truth about it. Now, the last thing is spending time with your friends or family. So, I don't have a lot of friends. Not gonna lie. But, I, like, you know... I have to think what I'm going to say. But, like, when I was with my ex, I did go out a lot. So, it, and it made me happy that I went out a lot than being cooped up in my room and laying down and watching Netflix. I was happy that I was going out a lot until we decided to break up. But... It's just you going out with your friends or even checking up on your friends, okay? And being on the phone with them. And being on the phone with them for hours and hours and hours will also change your mood because you're hearing their voices. And the same thing with your family, you are hearing their voices. It helps to hear someone that you really care about close to you and maybe you should do that. If you don't do that now, you should definitely do it now. Now, let's close down this episode. So, I want to say thank you for listening to this episode of You Against You podcast. We like three more episodes um, down before we um, end season two. So, 
Stay tuned for the last episode to know when exactly I will be launching Season 3. And then stay tuned some point in February to see the new cover art. So, yeah. But, again, you can go add yourself to the Geneva group chat, which will be in the show notes down below. Also, follow the You're Against You podcast Insta and... And TikTok, which is you against you pod dot by Deja. You can also go follow me on Instagram at Deja underscore Nicole underscore and go subscribe to the You Against You podcast YouTube channel, which will also be in the show notes. And go subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. Also, 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 also go support your girl's business. Link to that will be in the show notes. Also, if you want to go to this little event, individual event, and make vision boards and make new besties, go RSVP down below in the link in the show notes. Just put your first and last name in your email, and that's it. And we only got six people, and that's good enough. But if you want to join and watch a get not get more girls, gossip girls with other like-minded women go add yourself but that is it for today's episode resties this is you against you podcast oh my gosh but remember to always go after your goals no matter what and also remember it will be you against you not you against the world and i'll see y'all in the next episode i love you and bye